Hi guys and welcome to Belgium traffic. I'm driving my 899. Use it for commuting nowadays. So is this a good flight for commuting? Of course it is. Of course it is. I like commuting on a Super Sport much more than commuting on a GS for example. Why? Because of the wideness. This is so slim, I can fit through anything. I still think I made an incredible choice taking this one as my own. First of all, I was dreaming about having a Ducati one day since the 1916 first hit the market and I was very small at that moment the most difficult choice for me to make was the color should I choose a red one or should I use a white one with the red wheels because red is classic but the white one is a real eye catcher now from a sitting position for some people this might be uncomfortable but I found I find this motorcycle very comfortable mainly I like the sitting position what I pre why I prefer the sitting position is and many people will uh, disagree or some will agree I don't know but I have a little bit of a back problem and I like that when you drive a super sport all the bumps they you catch them with your knees. If you're sitting on another bike where you're sitting like, you know, up straight, all the bumps go straight to your back. So for me, this feels much more comfortable or less painful anyway, which is strange. But many times people complain about their wrists and everything. But if you hold a good position, there is really no weight on your wrists. See, there is no weight on your wrist, and that's a good, that's a good sitting position. Of course, it's very agile. Up, up. You have the three different programs. You have race, you have sport, you have rain. In the rain mode, traction control, ABS is turned all the way up, and the power is reduced to 100 horsepower. And in race and in sports, you have 148 horses at your disposal all at all time. You need 148 horsepower all the time. Well, I like to think that 148 horsepower for daily commuting is more than enough. I can do that with a 1299. I can do it with an S1000 double R or even with a Yamaha R1M, although that wouldn't be too comfortable on the butt. And this one is actually quite comfortable all around. Sitting position, great. Comfort on me buttocks, great. We also have some roosters and chickens on the street. Nothing unusual here. Some sheepy. Oh, by the way, it's fall in Belgium. Probably everywhere else too. Colors are nice. Falling leaves are not so nice. Anyway. Let me take you guys through a quick walk around. Now this is my bike, the 899 Panigale from Zucati. Now aesthetically, I like this bike a lot. I love it. I just love it. That's why I bought it, because I love it. I took the red color over the white color because I was thinking it's more classic. And I will like it more in time. First I wanted a white one, but then I changed my mind a bit. So anyway, the red one, it is. Uh, changed a few things. New windshield, a little bit higher, because I'm like 180. Didn't want to catch too much wind because I do a lot of highway. Carbon fender in the front, carbon fairings in the middle. Very nice. Also carbon here, around the dash. The foot picks, 
I bought the foot packs aftermarket from the Cali course because they are much more grippy. When you take it to the track, for example, these things are very handy and very good. Uh, also, the mono sit, I have it on here. But if I want to take a pillion, I can. It's very easy. I just have to attach four screws here. Remove this, put the pillow in place. It takes me like 10 minutes. I also threw the termis under here. Not that the stock exhaust is not loud, but I just like the termis. It's a bit more, it's a bit louder, and it's just a must-have, I think, for a Ducati to have some terminianos in the, under it. I would have loved the Akrapovic, but this was like 1600 euros, and the Akrapovic was like 3500 euros, which is just a little bit out of my budget. Now, what I don't like about the 899, and I'm really nitpicking here, is, you know, this is not two-layered uh, paint, it's one layer, and I'm try I'm losing some paint here. Now, this is not how I expected it to be. But I have to go to the garage, maybe I get some warranty on that, let's hope so. Also, what I don't like when I go to the track, you cannot use the mirrors, so we have to take them off, or you can just retract them. But I prefer to take them off. But the cable from the turning signal, it's very fragile for the wiring. Also, all of this is very not pliable and it's a bit difficult to get everything back the way it was. Maybe I'm not a good mechanic, that's also possible, but I would have liked just a little bit space so this is easy to tuck it away. I think almost that the most annoying thing when you're using the turning signals and you want to neutralize your turning signal, you use this gray button. Yeah, see? Gray butt. But when you're driving and you don't push it well enough, and you come out of the corner and you want to neutralize, you go into the programs, as you can see. And then it's every time you have to wait for the program to reestablish itself. But it, like I said, I'm really nitpicking here. So as you can see, we have three programs. We have race, engine brake goes to one, traction control goes to two, but the EBS goes to one. The DQS here means that the quick shifter is activated. You can also turn it off if you don't like it. For sport, this is the standard programs. It goes, engine brake stays on one, traction control goes up to five and ABS goes to two. And for wet, you also get less power. Engine brake stays on one. Traction control goes all the way up to eight and ABS goes to three. Also, you get like 100 horsepower, which makes it much safer to drive in the rain of course let's put it back in sports for normal day driving i put it in sport if i could take it to the track i put it in a race if i want to have some more fun in it i put it in a race it's however you want it but for everyday use i think sports suffices now why i chose the 899 well for me it was first of all i love that model i was doubting you know S1000 RR, Yamaha R1, and of course this little bit of love or dreaming about Ducati one day, I quite fast turned to Ducati. It was like I have to buy it, you know, just this is the moment. And then of course there was like doubting, take the 899, take the 1299, and don't get me wrong, the 1299 is an amazing machine, but for everyday use. 148 horsepower is more than sufficient. Also, I have a driver's license and I'd like to keep my driver's license. So that means, especially in Belgium with all these feeding cameras and trajectory controls, it's important to maintain more or less your speed at least. If you're riding the 899, it allows you to play within the legal speed limit. With a 1299, not so easy. What I can do with this one in second and third gear, which means I can use three gears, 1299 only needs one, sometimes two. Little rev bump. So do I enjoy my bike? Every fucking day. Until it starts to freeze, I will not stop riding it. And when it freezes, I will put my baby in the living room. I will not give it a blanket but I will put it next to the heating. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and watch our other videos. Ciao.